amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Also, but you did a little bit different, like you did a little big remix of it. Yeah, I did an acoustic version of Hold On To The Night. I wanted to keep it very acoustic and very raw. Mm -hmm. um, so when you like write a song, do you write it like acoustically first? Yeah, most of the time it always comes from piano or guitar. Mm -hmm. Does it? Does the melody comes first or the lyric comes first? I can't even, there's been, each time I write a song, it's different, every time. Mm -hmm. There's, sometimes I walk in and, my, and I have an idea, sometimes I don't have an idea, sometimes I want an idea, but I can't figure out an idea, sometimes, I mean, it's different every time. There's no technique, and I really strongly believe that when there's a technique, the song sucks. Well, then what do you do when you got stuck? I usually, when I get stuck on a song, I usually just quit and go on to the next one. Yeah. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just get it out of there. Get it out of your head. All right, top ten countdown continues to number five. It is Lana, Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. Have you heard that song? I love Lana Del Rey, and I yeah. love her album. Wow, because you, you, you love the one it, obviously, mm -hmm. and you love Lana Del Rey. They're, yeah, they're very, they're they're different. Yeah. So, what kind of music do you like? Is it favorite I listen one? to everything. everything? I, I listen. I mean, I'm on a really big Joni Mitchell and Nas phase right now. Mm -hmm. Where all I listen to is a lot of rap music and then a lot of Joni Mitchell. So I'm everywhere. I listen to rock. I listen to death metal. I listen to rap. I listen to pop music. I listen to electronic. I listen to dance. I, I try. As a musician, I feel like I should know and like every different style of music. So does that mean you're gonna have more diverse music style in the second album? No, my the style of me is the same pop rock feel. Okay. So but, it's kind of sticks to you. Yeah. All right, okay. So number four is Madonna, Give Me All Your Loving, was number two last week. Uh, have you heard, listen I love to this song. Give me all your love, baby, give me your love. Obviously, you like those, like, half your songs, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know what? Because I read it from your profile. I don't know if it's real. Um, you like a uh, teenage romance novel and and kind of like depressing things like you love I'm very depressing yes yeah you love black and you like instead of like uh, lo loving all the heroes typical heroes you love Joker oh, I from hate the Batman. heroes what's the point of a hero they're so boring you know what they're gonna do so I like the villains yeah well so does that mean like there's like a darker side of you there's a darker side of everybody what would you describe the darker side of you? It's a normal dark side. I, just, <laughs> I like I like some more intriguing characters and in, uh, movies and stuff. Because mm -hmm. the hero is so boring. Oh, what well, interesting. <laughs> so what was the last movie you saw? Um, let me really think about it. Um, You're probably too busy to watch movies. I d never get the chance to go to the movie theater. Um, Ouch. All right, I'll leave you thinking. Fried green tomatoes. <laughs> I watched it. Oh no, I watched my week with Marilyn on the oh, way over uh -huh. about the Marilyn Monroe movie on the way over to Asia yes. on the flight. That was the last movie I saw. Well, Marilyn Monroe, well, she's like way ahead of you. Like, do you know like what of age course. do you know her? Come on, Marilyn Monroe is the biggest movie actress in the world. Okay. Just because yes. I'm 14 doesn't mean I don't know Marilyn. Because no, well, this happens to me. Because I have to tell a joke or everybody this joke. Uh, when I was like in in elementary school. I thought Madonna is uh, Marilyn Monroe. I confused them, and then one day I heard Madonna's song on radio, and then my mom said, "Hey, it's Madonna." I was like, "I thought she's dead." <laughs> so you know, just me. Terrible. That's why. Okay. Number three is Katy Perry's "Part of Me." Oh, cool. Very cool song, and uh, cool style, Katy Perry. Something you want to try? Like different color hair. It was no. the Gaga style. No. 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 This like is me. Big, no. No. This is me. I'm not gonna change. Welcome back to the MTV Chart Show. I'm Samuel with guest VJ Grace and Chance. <laughs> so, how are you? How is the experience so far? Uh, the experience in Taiwan has been great. You know, I've had a lot of fun here. Like I said, I've I just really enjoyed uh, learning and getting to experience all the different culture. And the food. And the food. I love the food here. What do you like? I really like the milk bubble tea. Mm-hmm. Really, really. Good. And I heard you tried the dumpling. I tried the dumplings. But dumplings are delicious. But actually, they're not dumplings. It's xiao long bao, right? They they said it's xiao long bao because it's more like. But I'm American. Yeah. Or... I, I I I wish I could say that. I can't. No, I tried. What is it? What is it? Xiao long bao. Dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You can actually order that in. Uh, uh, I think they have a store in like Seattle and LA. So I'll try. Yeah, yeah. you probably can. When you tour around there, you can you know, yeah. check it out and have some. <laughs> yes. Okay. Number two is from Nicki Minaj. Let's check out the videos and we'll know what's number one. Before we tell you what is the number one song on pop music chart, let 
Grace and Chance recap for you. All right, guys. So last week's number nine, The Wanted. Uh, Glad you came falls one spot to number ten. Rebecca Ferguson debuts at number nine this week. The song's "Nothing Real But Love" is very beautiful. I like it a lot. Uh, one Direction's "Gotta Be You" holds at number eight for a second week. Our number seven this week is LMFAO's "Sorry for Party Rocking." Yeah. Next, number six <laughs> is Grace and Chance. Hold on to the night. Uh, now let's see if we can get it to number one this week, shall we? Uh, Lana Del Rey's Born to Die, one of my favorite, rises from number seven to number five this week. Madonna's Give Me All Your Lovin' slips from number two to number four this week. Sorry, Madonna. And last week, number one, Katy Perry's uh, "Pardon Me" falls to number three this week. And "Stupid Stupid" from Nicki Minaj climbs from number four to number two, who blocks her from earning the first spot. Go back to your habitat. So, which song is the number one on pop music chart this week? Which did the honor? Jason Mraz, I won't give up is number one this week. Yeah, well, congratulations! And Jason Mraz is coming to uh, Taipei June for oh, for his concert? concert. Yes. Ah. Well, you, you sang at the Taipei Arena last week, right? Yes, I did a quick little performance uh, for the National High School Athletic Games. You know what? Uh, Taipei Arena is kind of like a sacred place, a uh, venue for a lot of like a Taiwanese singers. Yeah. You know, like you have to be a diva or like. Like very popular to be seen there. Will we see you? Hopefully, soon? very, very yeah. soon. Hopefully, I'll be coming back and performing there. For this time, I wanted to keep it very intimate. Uh, last night we had, I saw you had like a fa Facebook chat. Yeah. And a lot of your fans is concerning about when are you coming back. So I'll be coming back soon. I'll say that much. Thanks so much for having me on the show. No problem. I, I, I hope you had fun, and I hope you're. We're just gonna see you very soon, of course. Of course. <laughs> and uh, good luck with uh, uh, your second album. Ah, uh, thank you. Out. We're gonna, of course, we will play it for you for sure. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys, so much. And why don't let's get hold on to the night number one next week, yeah? Yes. Let's see that. And next.